Alright, so it is uh, late in the day, and I'm supposed to be actually cleaning uh, the studio. Because um, as you can see, my studio is a wreck, even though I've started to clean it. It still needs a lot of work. But I thought I'd take a break from that um, catast catastrophe <laughs> and um, try to bind a sketchbook. And I actually got this idea um, a while ago when I really struggled to find watercolor sketchbooks that had the paper that I liked uh, that weren't like crazy expensive. So I thought, well, I have a bunch of paper and some different kinds. Why don't I try to make my own? So I started to look through, through some YouTube videos and I found Arla Beans, Arlisha um, Yetzer, I think I'm pronouncing it right from now, I'm sorry, posted an awesome video using um, PVA glue to make a perfect bound sketchbook. And I thought, well, that is perfect for me. It's easy, um, simple, and I have the materials. So I thought I would try it. So that's what I'm gonna do tonight. So the paper that I have is a little bit of scrap arches, 300 pound cold press, um, really nice, heavy stuff. And then I have this bigger piece of Saunders, yeah, Saunders Waterford, 140 pound rough white paper. Um, it's a uh, natural white, a rough texture, which is the first time that I've tried rough. Um, I played around a little bit with this paper the rest of the sheet, and I actually really liked it, so I'd like to use that for this. I have some more arches, but I, since it's the first sketchbook that I'm making, I don't want to waste a whole ton of the really heavy arches paper, just because it's expensive. <laughs> so I'm using the less expensive and lighter weight, hopefully easier to work with paper for this. And it's not going to be a very big sketchbook. I actually don't know what, you know, um, how many pages I'm going to actually make for this. But the size I'm going for is a 6x8 to start. So I have these lovely pieces of chipboard, like <laughs> countertop material, um, that are nice and heavy and have a nice flat surface. And um, so this is a 7x9 piece. So I'll have a little bit of extra room on the edges for the 6x8 paper to sit in. I also have my little kit of... Exacto knives and my utility knife and everything in here that I'm going to use to score the pages once they are cut. And then I will be brushing on this baby, and I'll take about three coats of this um, from what Arlisha had put in her video, and now I'm going to just see how it goes. So yeah, to protect my studio desk, I have my handy cutting mat, always very nice to have when you're working with paper. Uh, I made a mistake before on a wood table of cutting watercolor paper with a um, exacto knife, and that did not go well, so I learned my lesson. So yeah, I'm gonna get started.
Okay, so it is the next day and I have just finished putting on the last two layers of glue on my binding. And for the cover I decided to use a um, manila, I think they're called, folder. Um, just because I want something light and papery and easy to do for this first one. Um, I don't have any other material really to use as a cover, so I thought this would be a good light thing to do for this test sketchbook. So what I did is I basically just folded the spine right on the um, extender folds here on the folder, and then I'm going to measure and cut this to the right size, the 6x8, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the back cover to the last page of the sketchbook, and I'm going to leave the spine here to fold, and the front cover uh, not glued, leave it loose, because I want the book, the sketchbook, to be able to lay flat. Um, so yeah, that's one of the best me. I'm just gonna put some. Where it should be cut. I might leave just a little bit of an edge. So basically, this is gonna go in here. It's gonna. Wow, that's really crooked in it. It's okay. So that is going to go there. This is going to be glued to that back sheet, like I said. And it's just going to fold over and be really cute. A tad bit of stick out, but that's okay. <laughs> Press that glue in. Cover my glue back up with some tape. Yeah, like I said, this is kind of a spontaneous <laughs> decision to do this project last night and start it, so I wasn't really prepared um, with all the things uh, that I would need. But that's okay, that's part of the experience. That is looking good. That folder is actually holding up to the glue very well. So you can see it's not perfectly edged or anything, and there's a little overlap, which is what I wanted. But hey, it's okay. That's perfectly fine. Super cute. Super cute. So yeah, this normally should be let to dry and sit on its own for um, a little while with some books, but I'm slightly impatient, so we're gonna go ahead and open it up. So it opens like this. Very nice. And the pages actually fold nice and flat. So I have the front of the paper on this side because I tend to do most of my work on this side of the sketchbook actually. So the back side of the paper is here. So I have the front and the back of this Sanders Waterford um, rough 140 pound white paper. And this was about two thirds of a sheet. Um, I'm not exactly sure because I had cut pieces of the sheet before. So here's the back page. And as you can see, it's a little bit wonky because the glue is still very wet. But this is still a perfectly usable page. So although I don't have the back page, it'll still work really well. So I'm super excited. It was super cute. I totally want to do this again with some uh, better covers and stuff. But yeah, so that's my little quick I made a sketchbook for you. So there you go. That's my little sketchbook making video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please um, comment down below on you know other things you want to see me try to make, or if you have any questions about materials or what I use, where I got my stuff, anything of that would be great. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I should be posting more. We'll see. And thank you for watching.